Today I'm going to show you how to make this nice slideshow. I've got several flower photos and they're fading from one to the other and it just loops around infinitely. You can also click to advance the slides and you can click the other way to go the other direction. So you can go back and forth and when you stop it'll pick up wherever you stopped and continue the slideshow. Alright so let's build this. I've got five flower photos here and they're all stacked on top of each other. See that? And what I want to do is put them all in a group. So I'm selecting all the flower photos here in the layer list. And then I'm going to click group. And I'll name this group slideshow. Now I want to apply a behavior to this group that's going to create the slideshow effect. So I'll click behavior in the toolbar. And that takes me into the behavior designer. The next thing I want to do is create a state in the behavior designer for each of the slides of the slideshow. So in the initial state, I'm going to actually rename it to 1. Uh, you see the first photo. Then I'll make a new state. I'll call it 2. And in this one, I'm going to fade out that top photo just by selecting it and dragging the opacity down to 0. So now I can see the second photo. Now with the second state selected, I'll hit Add State, name this one 3. And I'm going to select the next photo and fade it out so I can see the third photo. Make a fourth state. Same thing, select the next photo. Fade it out to reveal the next one. And one more. Fade out that photo to reveal the last photo. Cool, now I've got all these states. And if I click between, I can kind of see how the animation looks. I'm going to select all of these. And go down here to the timing and make sure this is set up how I want. And this actually looks good to me. I have this ease out, or ease in out uh, timing. And it's set to a duration of 400 milliseconds. And I think that creates a nice kind of soft fading effect. So now how are we going to get between these states? Well, I want the slideshow to play automatically. So I'm going to use timer links to automatically advance from the first state to the second, to the third, to the fourth, to the fifth, and then back to the first. So with the first state selected, I can click timer link in the inspector. And I'm going to use two second timeout, which is 2000 milliseconds. So I'll type 2000 and the target will be state number two. Now I'll just open up the preview and make sure that that works. Cool, so after two seconds, it went to the second state. And then that's all that happens so far. So let's make it so that the second state will advance to the third state. And I'm gonna use the shortcut for creating a timer link, which is to right click drag from one state to the other. So that's a quicker way to do it. I'll type 2000 here, and then from three to four, 2000, from 4 to 5, and from 5 back to 1. Now that I have all those timer links in place, it should loop from through all the slides and then back to the beginning. So if I open up the preview, we can see that that's working. And let's just verify that when it gets to the last slide, that's this one, it goes back to the beginning. All right, next I want to make this slideshow interactive. I want to be able to tap on the right to go to the next slide and tap on the left to go to the previous slide. So I'll go back to the initial state and I'm just going to make a link on the right side of this and that's going to go to state number two. So clicking on the right side goes forward to the next state. Let me just fine tune the position of this. And clicking on the left side should go back to the previous slide, which in this case is number five. So I'm going to duplicate this link by option dragging it. You could also just draw another link. But I want to make sure it's the exact same size. And then this is the wrong target, so I'm going to retarget it to state number 5. Now if I select both of these, you can see the one on the right goes to state 2. The one on the left goes to state 5. And I'm currently on state 1. Now to apply this same setup to the next state, I'm going to select both. Of, I've got both the links selected, so I'll just copy them with command C. Then I'll click on state two, paste it in. Now the targets are incorrect here because on state two, clicking on the left should go to the first one and clicking on the right should go to the third one. All right, on to state three, paste in those links again, fix the targets. State four, same thing. State five, Clicking on the left will go to 4. Clicking on the right will go to 1. Alright, let's open up the preview. 
it's going automatically. If I tap, it goes to the next one. If I tap to the other side, it goes back. It can go back and forth. And if I stop, it keeps going automatically. Great, so that's how you can create a nice little slideshow. A little challenge for you would be to figure out how to additionally add the ability to swipe left and right to advance to the next or previous slide.